Hey, what's wrong with you, man? You ain't subscribed yet? IEYC Atlanta Burning 2.0. What you waiting on? Get it done, do it now. Hey, get them clicks, get them likes, and subscribe. Do it now. Give me, do, give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 28. Bring it out. Because this is the thing, man. Look, we've been, we've been over here in this land of America. We've been traumatized. We've been traumatized through slavery. We've been traumatized through Jim Crow. Black, uh, black code. The sundown towns. The lynch over here. We got, we got the cases where our brother Kendrick Johnson, he just got lynched in Valdos to Georgia 12 years ago. So now... We got the black man in America now. He he saying all type of crazy things. Why is that? That's a curse. Right here. Deuteronomy 28, 28. Real quick. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 28. Bring it out. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. The Lord said he's gonna do what? Smite thee with madness. So the Lord said he's gonna smite us with madness. What is that going to? Our mind not being sound. Our right. mind not being right. We we have unrational thoughts right. that, that, that are not that can't nobody else comprehend what you're talking about. What do you mean that George, he said, Tom, Tom Machine, real George Washington? What's going on, bro? What, what about what about you? Let's, 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 somebody, let's, somebody stole God's time machine. Somebody stole God's time machine. Huh? Okay, that's one. Okay. That's one reason. Hey, well, you, look, 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 you bro, look, you too deep for me, but let's, let's just, Let's let's go let's let's get a little bit less deep and this sound on the surface. So what's your what's your living condition? What's your living condition? No, 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 no. I, I wanna know, because you my brother, you, you my brother, you the homeless. Give me that and um Sirach chapter 40 and verse 28. Watch this. Matter of fact, give me Deuteronomy 7 and 6 first. Because this the word of God, this Bible. It's to build our people up. Right. Because you greater than what you think you is. Right. You greater than your condition that you've been put in now. And we've been brought to this condition for our disobedience. Right. Right. We've been brought to the ghetto. We've been made slaves here in this land. Right. We've been put in poverty because of our disobedience. Right. Because, right. God. because guess what? It's not supposed to be one homeless black man on the planet Earth. Right. Right. Because guess what? All the all the kingdoms that stand in this world, they was built up off the backs of black men and black women. Right, so guess what? All the riches of this world belong to us. Right. But for our disobedience towards God, we don't reap the benefits. That's so right. watch this. Read that real quick. Deuteronomy 7 and 6. Read. Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6. Uh -huh. but, uh, but thou art an holy people unto the Lord. Thy God. So the Lord says that we are a holy people unto him. What's your name, brother? Kenneth. Kenneth. God said that you, you said Kenneth or Kenneth? Kenneth. Kenneth. So God said that you are a holy people. So hold on, I got, I got you, I got you. I'm trying to uh, build some self-esteem in you. Uh, I, 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 I got you, I got you. I, I, got, a, I got a way, I can tell y'all how to heal y'all. Hold on, hold on, wait, hold on. We're going we to show you how to heal yourself because you don't know the proper way. The uh, Lord said a good understanding has all that keep his commandments. Uh, so even when it comes to healing, guess what? The Lord give us those instructions. Uh, so watch this, 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 I, I want you to listen. Because you see these, all these black men that came out here unified. Guess what? We came out here to bring the word of God to you. Right. To build you up because we see something great in you. Right. And that's what we're trying to show you right now. So I, I, I know you got a lot of thoughts. I know you got a lot of, uh, uh, a, a lot of things that you learn throughout your life. But just here with these brothers that we got to say right now. All right? It's going to benefit you. I promise you, if you take heed to the words that we're telling you, it's going to benefit your life positively. Right. Right? So read that. The Lord thy God has chosen thee to be a special people unto himself uh -huh. above all people so that, what, Rick? above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So the Lord he chose us to be above all people that are upon the face of the earth. So that means above the Caucasian man, right, right. above the Chinese man, right, right. above the Arab man, right, right. above the true African man, right. above the East Indian man, right. the Pacific right. Islanders. Right. The Lord told us to be above all people. Right. Right. For our disobedience, we have been brought low. Now we got our brothers begging on the corner, told us. Watch this, Rock 40 and 28, watch this. Let me show you, I'm, I'm a uh, matter of fact, 
Read Psalms 107 20, and then we're going to go to Surah 40. And we're going to touch on it. Even your condition, the Lord can do the keys to get out of your condition. Because the way that you live it, guess what? I don't, I don't wish that upon none of my people. Right, You're supposed right. to be credited. You ain't supposed to be homeless. Right. God ain't make you to be homeless. God ain't make you to be on the bottom. Right. But guess what? For our disobedience towards God, we in this condition. Right. So watch this. Read this. So. Chapter 107, verse 20. Because you say, you know, you know, you can not heal, uh, heal ourselves, right? So watch this. No, the Lord is going to show you this day how to truly heal yourself. Read. He sent his word. And then what? Sent his word. He sent his word. Read. And healed them. And then what? Healed them. And what? Healed them. So what's going to heal the black man from this condition? The word of God. The word of God. Because like you say, you say, you think this book got uh, 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 contradictions. It's, it's, it's man-made. No, this is the medicine that's needed to heal the black community. So, so now go to Surah 40 and 28. Watch this. Now read this. I need, to, I need to listen to this real quick. Read. Surah chapter 40 verse 28. My son, lead not a beggar's life. Guess what? The Lord said that Israel is God's son. We read that in Exodus 4 and 22. So he's talking to these people right there. The so-called blacks and Hispanics. God says that what? Lead not read it, up, my son. Lead not a beggar's life. God said, my son, lead not a beggar's life. Read. For better it is to die. God said, what? Better it is to die than to beg. The Lord said, better it is to die than to beg because guess what? He made us royal. Right. So now, give me First Samuel two and eight. So the Lord said. Lead not a beggar's life. That's not the condition that he created you. He created you to be royal, holy. He made us a nation of kings and priests. That's how God designed the black man to be, the Israelite That's right. man. That's who we truly are. Right. So our condition is not to be homeless. That's the right. Lord said, lead not a beggar's life. There shouldn't be no black man out here begging. That's if they right. begging, guess what? They need to figure out how to change their condition. But it starts with this right here. Chapter 2, verse 8. Uh -huh. He raised it up the poor out of the dust. He said, so God said he's going to raise up the poor man out of the dust. Guess what? A lot, all these brothers that you see out here, guess what? We was the dust. That's going into captivity. That's right. being brought low. That's her going into having that niggerly mentality. Bring it up. Hating, hating our own people. Right. Killing our own people. Selling drugs. Dope dealers. Murderers. Gang bangers. Women was prostitutes. Women was out here uh, 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 living, living hot girl summers. Not taking care of their kids. Right. These are things that, that, that plague us as a people. So we all we all broke up. And some of the people just more than the other. So the Lord said he's gonna, he gonna raise up the what? Of the poor out of the dust. Uh -huh. Read. And lift it up the beggar. The what? The beggar. The what? The beggar. So the Bible said that God's gonna lift up the what? The beggar. The beggar Read. from the dung hill. From the dung hill, from the pile of, of, of filth, from the pile of crap. The Lord said he's going to lift you up. But you got to believe that. You got to believe his word. You have to believe his word. Because the Bible gives a man instruction on how to provide for himself. Right. Uh, on how to provide for those around him. And God created a system to what? To where we can support one another. But as long as we don't know who we are, as long as we don't acknowledge our God and acknowledge our business, we're going to stay and remain in our condition. Bring and we're never going to receive true healing. Bring it up. And, 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 and my body and soul. Right. So the word said that the Lord's going to lift up the poor and the beggar from the dump hill. So God's work on this earth is to change the black man from being the lowest man of society to rise up to being the greatest. Right. So right. Right, what you see with these men right now, guess what? Can't no white man, can't no scholar, can't no politician come up here and, and, and confound us. Right. Right. They can't come up here and tell us nothing. You know why? Because God changed the spirit on the black man. Right. 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 The Lord poured his spirit upon the earth in these last days. And the Lord trying to impart his spirit upon you. That's, That's right. why you're right here right now. Right. You, the, the Lord, the, the Lord, the Bible says a, a, a man's going to the Lord. That's you ain't right. just happen to be right here on this corner where ain't nobody at. You, you ain't just happen to be right here where the prophets are set up this day. Right. The Lord trying to raise you up. He's trying to change your condition. Right. But you got to accept it. You got to be humble. Right. Humble. 
Now, look, look, let, me, let me say something real quick. Hey, I have to go back. You, what you say before that? You said in your past life you was George Washington. Let me ask you this. I, re I really need to know this. What is your uh, what is your your nationality? Give me number chapter one. Jew. You a Jew? Okay. George Washington wasn't a Jew. Let me give me numbers chapter one verse eighteen. Read up. Read up, Jack. I'm gonna show you something. You have to you have to know what your lineage is. My problem with you, I don't think you really absolutely know. But I'm gonna show you something. I'm gonna show you. Read this real quick. I, I got you. No, if you knew what your lineage was and you saying that you're a Jew, you wouldn't say that you used to be George Washington, right. which is Esau, the so-called white man. Right. That don't even work out. Watch this. Numbers, chapter 1, verse 18. Uh -huh. And they assembled all the congregation together uh -huh. on the first day of the second month. So the Israelites assembled together on the first day of the second month, right? And they declared their pedigree. They compared, uh, uh, compared their lineage. A pedigree is a lineage, right? Okay, read on. After their families by the house of their father. So you are what your father is. George, if you're calling yourself a Jew, okay, which are black, they read it to you earlier in uh, Jeremiah chapter uh, 14, verse 2. George, oh my goodness, you you going all with it. You going all you you going all but my problem is with you, I really don't think you know who you are. So we're gonna show you without a shadow of doubt. Who this happened to? Give me Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 16. Who this happened to right here? What group of people? I'm trying to tell you, he asked me all that. No, no, no. Just answer the question. I got you. I'm gonna let you talk. I'm gonna let you talk. I'm gonna let you talk. Who who what nation of people have who did this happen to? Who did this happen to? What nation of people? A ship called Nebuchadnezzar made those clouds. All right. Watch this. Read that. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. Deuteronomy chapter 28, verse 68. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. Do you know anything about the Bible? I'm asking you a serious question because I don't know you. So I don't know where you're... Huh? You wrote the Bible. Okay. So, the Israelites uh, came out of the land of Egypt. Moses said, let my people go, right? Oh, my goodness. Brother, brother. Give me to it. Hold on. Before we go forward, I'm going to show you. Give me to the right 28, 15. Then give me to verse uh, 28. Right. Do 20. Tell the 28 and verse 15. But it shall come to pass, uh -huh. if thou wouldst not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, to observe, to do all his commandments uh -huh. and his statutes, which I command in his day, uh -huh. that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So Moses was instructed to tell the children of Israel, you so-called black Hispanics and Native Indians, if you do not hearken unto his laws, he's going to make all of these curses come upon you. Forever and ever. I want to read one of these curses that plague our people in these inner cities, that plague our people in the ghetto, that plague our people in the slum. Go ahead and read that. Verse 28. Verse 28. Uh huh. The Lord shall smite thee with madness. The Bible says the Lord is going to smite our people's mindset with madness. When you calling yourself Moses, you saying you Christ, you saying you wrote the Bible, you saying you do it. Guess what? The Lord has smitten your mind with madness. I'm going to tell you why, because you are not keeping God's law statutes right. 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 You do not know who you are. Right. You're not out here helping the people. Right. You're not out here fixing the injustice of our people. Right. What are you doing to help the people? Because you refuse to adhere to the medicine, which is the word of God. Right. Okay, hold on. You have said enough. You have said absolutely enough. So hold on. Before you go, though, you... Read up, go back to verse 28. Yes, sir. And blindness and astonishment of heart. Uh, um, uh, verse 68. Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ship. So who this happen to? This happened to the Israelites. Right. The Lord will bring you into Egypt again with ships. That didn't happen to the uh, the Israelites back then. Right. They walked through the Red Sea. Yeah. So what is Moses saying right here? He's saying this is going to happen to your people in the future. Okay? So if it happens to your people in the future, guess what? Who did this happen to? It happened to you. Yeah. It happened to you, Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Right. So I want to know, 
How can you call yourself George Washington? Right. How can you call yourself a so-called white man? Bring it up. If Moses said this was going to happen up to the Israelites. Right. Right. Go ahead and read that again. Then we get to come back up there. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28 and verse 68. Bring it out. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. So the Lord, because of our disobedience, said he will bring us into Egypt or slavery again with ships. Right. The, the uh, transatlantic slave trafficking happened to the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians. Right. It didn't happen to anyone else. Right. We are the ones that's cursed in the city, right. cursed in the field. Right. We are the ones that suffered all these atrocities and these afflictions right. because of our disobedience. Right. It's high time that you blacks, Hispanics, and Native Indians wake up. Right. Nation is men leading by example.